Hi, this is Greg from Pensacola, Florida. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Tonight is part seven of the modular inbuild with Hearst Arts Molds. Uh, last week when we left off, I had done the uh, pre-assembly of the Hobbit Room and uh, showed you the blocks. They were unprimed and everything was unassembled on there. I said it was going to be a pretty basic build, which it was. It was going to be your standard three by five floor and just these, you know, four sections of pieces right here. We had the, uh, the circular wall. Oh, we had the circle, and then we were going to put the uh, what looks like the, the door opening in, and then uh, these other three panels on there. Well, the build went together relatively quick. It wasn't too bad. I've got the finished product right here. I'm pull it over on screen. We'll see if we can do better tonight with keeping things centered. So this right here is the front. This is the uh, door we put in. Now, he said you do have to sand this down, which I had to sand this down quite a bit. Um, I've got a handheld Dremel, so I just went around it. So I had to take more off this than I thought I would at the beginning, and I'm glad I didn't have a piece of sandpaper doing this, or it would have taken a long time. The Dremel made pretty quick work of it. Uh, it wasn't too dusty getting the stuff off, so that wasn't too bad. But here's the door. I painted it with uh, the Earth Tone painting method, but I used all three highlights, and then I used uh, bolt gun metal for the metallic pieces on the front. Like I said, I know this is the Hobbit room according to the thing, but I'm going to rebuild this room so it's all sealed in one piece, and this sucker's going to be a vault. We'll put some decorations on the front and stuff like that. So maybe when we get closer to the Gothic uh, dungeon build, I'll go back and revisit this. If I'm casting this mold again or if I have enough leftover pieces, we'll put that together so we've got a vault, and we'll kind of soup it up a little bit on there. But the rest of it, you know, this is your, uh, your Earth Tone painting method that Bruce uses. This is the first two highlights on here and this is all three highlights of the Castle Grey painting method. So it's a really easy build. Wasn't too much to it and uh, came out rather quick. So then I was talking about we were going to move on to the after the Hobbit room was building the bar. Now when we left off on the video all I had so far done was this one piece right here. Uh, this piece took a little bit longer to put together. It's uh, these windows right here, the window uh, panes that go in there, you know, are pretty big compared to the ones that we did before. You got the two side wings over here, which weren't too bad. This is where the bookcase was. So when we left off on that last video, I had done this wall right here, and we had done. I had this setting up because I just glued it and I showed the bookcase that was going to go into here. So that was the bookcase that I had and that it snapped right in. And then down here we had a big giant arch. And then inside that arch we put these uh, wooden, kind of these wooden dividers in here because now the rooms that we're starting to build from here out have a lot more detail in them than the other ones. So uh, this was the using the one and a half inch by one wooden planks and then we put this door into it so um, and then this was just a blank wall that's gonna it goes right here on the mold so when you look down here these are the pieces so this is the door that's in that cutout this is the bookshelf this is that one just blank wall that's gonna separate those two openings going out here's our windows right here on the side and then here's our wooden piece in that bigger archway so that's what it looks like on screen and I'd like to say that the completed piece looks pretty close to what Bruce had on his screen. So I'm going to go around the outside of it, show you all four sides, and then we'll talk a little bit about the inside. So right here is the side with the, uh, with the windows. So they're yellow on one side and they're blue on the other. This is the one opening. This was the other wall that I had done with the bookcase right here that we snapped in. This is kind of the reach through window. It's recessed on one side and it's flush on the other. Uh, right here we use the uh, the earth tone painting procedure, but we used all three levels of highlights versus just the two levels of highlights that we're doing on the floor. And over here is those wooden pieces that we put in here. These required a little bit of sanding down, not nearly as much sanding as the, uh, the Hobbit room did. And then here's that standalone wall with the two exits going out of the room. All right, and then if I can show you in the room, you can see over here we got the blue windows on the inside. We've got the uh, the bookshelf right over here, 
and I'll start adding stuff to these bookshelves and things like that. So we'll put stuff in there. On this side, this is where the door is. Now this is where it starts getting a little different. Um, Bruce doesn't, you know, do the painting instructions for in here, you know, so some of the smaller furniture we're putting together, it's not part of the plan. So when we start decorating these rooms, I'll make sure to shoot videos of doing the tables, of painting the tables, of putting everything together that's not part of the plan that helps accessorize inside of this modular in. Uh, the rest of it is just your standard room. So this is the biggest room we've done so far. It's a seven by seven. We got the two big windows in there. They fit in pretty good. I didn't have to sand a whole lot inside of there, but I was really happy with how this came out. It looks really good on the table. Everything is matching up fine with the other pieces like we've talked about, and uh, the project's rolling right along. So the uh, sorting of the blocks helps because in here you had to pull out 49 of those blocks. I do do a diamond pattern, so it's, it might be hard to tell on film, but you know, you got the uh, wood grain going like this. It's all coming into one point on all four blocks. So it keeps a consistent pattern across the uh, across the floor. So keep that in mind if you're doing this, that you want to keep a consistent pattern going across. You don't want blocks going every which way because it might pull your eye different, you know, with the floor tiles all in the same pattern like that. I think it'll keep your eye looking at the whole piece versus focusing in on some anomaly in the floor on there but uh other than that i was really happy how things came out and uh this was a really fun piece to do so then we're going to look ahead again and we're going to build the booths now this right here uh is probably going to be one of the more demanding projects because now not only are we doing multiple windows we're going to have six windows going across We've got multiple pieces that are hooking together. Now we're going to start adding accessories. So I'm excited to start this. I'm excited to look at these tables, to do the booths, because there's no really painting instructions for this. So now this is kind of a little bit where I get to figure out or you get to figure out how you want your stuff to look and start setting the color scheme for your inn and with the furniture and the accessories. And so when we're done, you know, this is what Bruce's looks like on there so I hope mine is gonna look the same way so just a quick update for tonight I'm really happy with how everything turned out the Hobbit room came out well you know one more time we'll take a look because we like taking a look alright so we got it centered up we got the door on there remember just be anticipate you're gonna do a little more sanding than you think you're gonna do when you first glue this together um, I think the bolt gun metal on top of this color brown really looks good I still have old GW pots of bulk on metal. I know there's a, a new replacement color in their new line, but it'll look the same. Any any of these uh, metallics with a hint of black in them on there will look pretty good. And the floor. Floor is consistent all the way across with the other builds. And then the 7x7, seven seven, you know, bar. You know, this 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 is going to be a nice piece. I think this will be sitting right, you know, in the middle of our of our inn. Um, you know, we're going to have multiple levels. You know, when we get to the third sheet, you know, we're still on the second sheet of the build right now. So when we get to that third sheet, we're going to be able to sit there and start adding levels higher if we choose to, because we're going to build two different style, styles of risers, you know, so rooms that are inside the dungeon maybe sitting up like this and then we're going to have rooms that are going to be exterior to the dungeon they'll be on another level and we're going to build those stairs coming up so i uh, thank you for watching the video tonight it's another quick update we're going to move right into building the uh, booths and stuff like that so uh, stay tuned if you like the video please like it if you like the channel please subscribe share it out with your friends and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you